like to call to order the first regular meeting of the Common Council of 2018-2019. Would the clerk please call the roll for the day? There are 10 present. Thank you. Would the clerk please read the quote for Thank the you. day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. Thank you very much. We'll begin with the presentation of the national colors by the Sheboygan Police Department's Honor Guard. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Next, I'd like to invite the musical group Vox to entertain us with a few <coughs> patriotic songs. Please come forward. <coughs> Thank you. 
Ladies, thank you very much. Next, I'd like to call forward Pastor John Putnam. He's a senior pastor of the Pentecostals of Sheboygan County. They've recently purchased the Southtown Mall and are in the process of moving their church from Sheboygan Falls to Sheboygan. John also serves as a pastor uh, and uh, helps for the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department, the Wisconsin Patrol, and also the Secret Service of the federal government. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor and uh, Council of Men and Women being here, and congratulations on your recent election. Uh, an ancient Jewish prophet who once said, it is God alone who judges. He decides who will rise and who will fall. And so as you accept the vote of the citizens tonight, God's hand has been upon your rising and into this prominent role that you're, that role that you're serving in. Dale Carnegie once said, in relation to giving speeches, he said, there are always three speeches for one that you actually gave. He said, the one you practiced, the one you gave, and the one you wish you gave. <laughs> and uh, certainly as new council members, I think if we tweak this a little bit, it could be in reference to your role here. There are always three campaigns the one that you embarked on and ran the message that you had, your time that you actually serve, and then when you're done looking back on how well did you serve. And certainly tonight, as you begin this new council session, let it be said of you for the citizens of Sheboygan that we share ideas instead of demanding our will, and we serve instead of being served, that we move forward in confidence, not in fear, and that we seek the common good of all, not just a few. Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, I thank you for this evening. I thank you for the privilege to be here, Lord. And I thank you for those, God, that you have, Lord, risen, Lord, and raised to be in the prominent role that they are in. I pray right now, Lord, a blessing upon the mayor and the city government, Lord. I pray a blessing on these council men and women, that God, that they would serve well that you would use them, that you would protect them, that you would bless them as they serve, Lord, the citizens of this city. I pray, Lord, as we face, Lord, the days that are ahead, that you would give us a new birth of clarity in our aims, responsibility in our actions, humility in our approaches, and civility in our attitudes, even when we disagree on the fact. I pray that you'd bless each and every one, and thank you, Lord, for the privilege to serve in this great city, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, next item we'll move on to is the swearing in of older persons elect. Turn it over to the city clerk, Meredith DeBruin. Please come and line up in front of the rostrum. Support 
swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin, and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin, and will faithfully and impartially, and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties, discharge the duties of the office of alder person, of the office of alder person, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So we got. Congratulations. Same to you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is adoption of the rules of the Common Council, and this will lie over to our first meeting in May. Uh, and then we'll proceed with election of the President and Vice President of the City Council. <clears throat> the floor is open for nominations. Alderperson Wolf. Well, um, yeah. I guess do I... He needs to read that. I move that now. I move, uh, I move that the nominations are received by, from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes uh, be dropped from the list and balloting continue until the one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. Okay, are there will be nominations from the floor. Are there any nominations from the floor? For president? Uh, Alder? Person uh, Mitchell. For president or vice president? This is for president. Not at this time. Pardon me? I don't, not at this time. Okay. Alder Person Donahue. I nominate Todd Wolf as president. Thank you for that nomination. Is there a second? Second. Alder Person Ryan Fleisch. Is there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? I'd ex entertain a motion to close nominations and cast a unanimous ballot. Make a motion to close the ballot. Second. And cast a unanimous ballot? Yes, a unanimous ballot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, is there a second to that? Second. Other person, Savaglio. Okay, nominations are closed, and we, all those in favor of the motion on the floor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Alderperson Wolf. <laughs> okay, next we'll go into um, Vice President nominations. Alderperson Mitchell. I'd like to nominate Alderperson Trester for the position of Vice President. Okay, is there a second? Second. All right, that nomination is on the floor for vice president. Are there any other nominations? I nominate uh, Mary Lynn Donahue. Second. Is there a second? Okay, we have two candidates. Are there any other nominations? Accept the motion to close nominations and uh, begin balloting. I make a motion to close the, the uh, nominations and uh, collect the balloting. Second. Thank you for that motion. Um, will we please distribute the ballots?
Alderperson Donahue, congratulations. <laughs> Next, we'll move on to election of two representatives on the Capital Improvements Commission. Alderperson Wolf. I move to that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if one or more two, than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Is there a second? Second. Alderperson Donahue. Are there any nominations? The Office uh, Capital Improvements Commission. Alderperson Savaglio. I move to nominate Marilyn Donahue. Is there second. a second? Okay. We have one candidate. Do you accept Marilyn? I do. Okay. Is there any other nominations? Alderperson Donahue? I understand this is for two positions, and therefore I nominate Alderperson Rinfleisch. Second. Very good. We have a second candidate, and you accept also? Yes. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other <laughs> nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderperson Wolf, I'd uh, entertain a motion to close nominations and a yep. unanimous ballot. I move that the nominations be closed and the city, um, and the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous uh, ballot. Is there a second? Second. And all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We have a unanimous ballot. Congratulations to both of you. Next, we'll move on to, uh, to election. Uh, well, we'll call a recess, I'm sorry. City planning. No, city, plan. city, plan. oh, city planning is yet. Plan. So we'll have an, an election for city planning commission position. Alderperson Wolf. I move, to not, uh, I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, a candidate with the lowest number of votes to be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until the one candidate receives a, receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Nominations are open. Um, Alderperson Wolf. I nominate Jim Boren to second. plan commission. Second. Thank you very much. We have one candidate, Alderperson Donahue. Did you have your hand up? That was my nomination. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderperson Wolf? I move that the nominations be closed uh, and the city clerk be instructed to cast an anonymous ballot for Alderperson Jim Bourne. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll uh, call a recess to elect the chairman of the Committee of the Whole, and I invite Council President Todd Wolf to take the front of this chair. I move, <clears throat> I move that the nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, uh, the candidate with the lowest number of votes uh, be dropped from the list and the balloting to continue until the candidate, one candidate is received. Um, is it, there is a second. Thank you for that second. Uh, there will be nominations from the floor. Mary Lynn. I nominate Alder Ryan Sorensen. Second. Okay. Is there anybody else? Okay. Um, Should ask two more times. Is there any other uh, any additional nominations? Any additional nominations? All right. Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations, Ryan.
Now we'll go into recess. All the person Wolf, uh, would you please report on the election of the committee of the whole chairperson? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I move that the nominations be closed and the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for alder person uh, Ryan Sorensen for the committee of the whole. Congratulations, Alderman Sorensen. Next, we're going to go on to a couple of uh, speeches and messages. The first would come from our president of the council, Todd Wolf. Todd, did you want to take the rostrum? I feel like I'm in the corner. All right. <coughs> My speech. I'll try to keep it short like last time. Thanks. I want to thank, thank you all for supporting me um, in this position of council president. We're, we are embarking on a historical path with a reduced council. Not to mention a group of highly talented and youthful in the understandings of, the, of city government. I want to thank the city and the, and the managers for continuing to support in supporting the council through educating and better, to better understand and allow us to represent our constituents. It's very important that we reach out to our management, the city management, when we have uh, constituent problems. I want to, th to also thank th my beautiful wife and daughters um, that unfortunately weren't available tonight uh, that continue to support me in a positive, in the position a as alder. Um, they see daily the many hours um, that we dedicate in this position and also the good, the bad, and unfortunate ugly uh, that, that is associated with this position. But we have so much to be thankful for. So our great community of citizens that have voted us into, this, into these older positions. We, our great community and citizens um, have done this because they have faith in us and they believe in the direction that we're gonna be honestly moving forward to move the city. We have so much potential in improving the way we live, work, and play. We need to reflect on the past so that we do not make the same mistakes, but to be responsible in driving growth. But this is through responsible budgeting and management in our spending to maintain our AA2. It's so important that we understand the magnitude of that, of that and how proud we should be on that, on that uh, budget rating. We need to be open to the needs of the community and understand that our passion and our personal opinions need to be kept in check with trust and honesty on all subjects. And sometimes it's difficult for us, but we need to lean on each other. We need to be respectful in council as well as in the public and show a high level of professionalism as well. We need to lead with direction as this is what our constituents need to and expect. I am grateful and thankful for this team, so please feel free to reach out to me and to others within the group with questions as we move forward. Thank you. Next, I'd like to recognize the uh, committee of the whole chairperson, Ryan Sorensen. Mayor Vandersteen, City Administrator Hofflin, City Clerk De Bruin, uh, City Attorney Adams, Council Members, Department Heads, and a fellow Sheboyganites. I want to thank you for entrusting me to be the Committee of the Whole Chair. I think that this year we have a fantastic group of aldermen. I think we all have a shared vision of moving this city forward, and I hope that we all can work together to make sure that Sheboygan is a great place to work. I'm going to really keep my comments short today because I didn't prepare any statement because I wasn't really anticipating speaking. But um, I do think that uh, over the past year um, on the council, we have had some big items on our agenda from the Kohler annexation for the golf course, um, from the armory discussion that has happened over the past few months. Um, and I think that this next year, we're going to have a lot of uh, fantastic uh, items come forward with us. So my vision for the committee of the whole and for this council is that we have thoughtful, 
uh, um, discussions, educated discussions that we're all working together to make sure that our city is a better place for everybody to live, play, and thrive. So thank you guys for, uh, thank you all for entrusting me to become <coughs> the whole chair. I hope that uh, we all do a fantastic job this year. Thank you. Next item is public forum. Do we have anyone signed up? There is no one this evening. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll go on to the mayor's message. City Council members, Sheboygan residents, 2018 promises to be a strong year for the city of Sheboygan. We just finished a historic election as we reduced the city council from 16 to 10 older persons. This included the first time in well over a half a century that the entire council was up for election in the same year. Older persons elected to represent the, represent the even numbered districts will serve for two years, and the older persons elected to serve the odd numbered districts will serve for one year. And this arrangement will return us to the past practice of having half of the city council up for elections every year in the future. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the candidates that ran spirited campaigns for their offices. Uh, tonight, we welcome three new members to the city council, Rose Phillips, Dean Decker and Trey Mitchell, and I'm looking forward to working with them and all of you to make Sheboygan someplace better. Tonight, we're gonna to remember some of the accomplishments from the past term and look forward to opportunities for the next council year. But I just wanna review the latest numbers that showed Sheboygan's unemployment rate is 2.1%. We're tied with Madison and Wausau is with the lowest unemployment rates in the state of Wisconsin. There are currently thousands of jobs open in our community in Sheboygan and Sheboygan County. The city uh, is one of the top 10 manufacturing towns in the United States and the top 10 factory town with the lowest unemployment. Sheboygan has 34% of their population employed in manufacturing, which is tied for fourth highest in the nation. Last year, Sheboygan took the first steps to address the shortfall in market rate housing. And there were 169 new apartment units that are occupied now in the Sheboygan Squared Business District in downtown <coughs> and South Pier. Sheboygan also supported the Founders Club, a home with their, their re, um, remodeling of the retirement home into a place for interns and hospitality employees, were, which are employed by Sheboygan businesses. Even with the addition of these new, new units, there's still a critical 1% vacancy rate for housing in Sheboygan. The High Point Apartments are under construction with 91 units and will soon be open for occupancy. And another 41 unit apartment complex on the former Nino site will soon have a groundbreaking. Sheboygan was the 11th city to join the Green Tier Communities of Wisconsin. The 2017 City of Sheboygan Sustainability Annual Report detailed a number of accomplishments that have been achieved by that committee. The Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force focused on four goals to provide recycling education to elementary schools, provide res um, to uh, students in Sheboygan, to make rain barrels available to residents, to promote composting, to remove food waste from the garbage system, and to promote sustainable water initiatives. Sheboygan also continued to upgrade municipal lighting to LED bulbs, and we were awarded a focus on energy grant to upgrade the lighting along the Sheboygan River. When you live in Sheboygan, you live in a great city, in a great neighborhood. We now have seven neighborhood associations that are managed by the neighbor, mayor's neighborhood leadership cabinet, and I thank the members of our neighbor, Sheboygan neighborhood pride for all their work to develop these new neighborhood associations. We further leveraged our neighborhood revitalization efforts by adding a second code enforcement officer and a second beat cop. They follow up on problem properties and keep our neighborhoods clean, maintained, clutter-free, and safe. In addition to quality neighborhoods, Sheboygan businesses are growing and investing in industrial, commercial, and residential projects. There is $160 million in new construction that was completed in 2017. The assessments for these new constructions has increased tax collections by $1.9 million in 17 and expected to increase by an additional $7.6 million in 2018. The next, next week on April 23rd, 
We're going to have a groundbreaking ceremony at 1 o'clock for the South Point Enterprise Campus, Sheboygan's Business Park expansion. The first phase will see the development of 150 acres. Streets, water lines, and sewers will all be installed to accommodate future business growth. Last year, parts of the Memorial Mall were demolished to make way for a new Meyer Foods location, and that construction should begin this summer. The funding of uh, the resurfacing our city streets is a priority, and last year, Sheboygan Department of Works, the Public Works, completed one of the most aggressive street resurfacing programs in the last decade. In the last 10 years, we averaged about two miles of streets that were resurfaced every year. More recently, it got a little bit above three miles of streets. But with new sources of revenue and the use of a new paving machine by our DPW staff, we were able to resurf 6.1 miles of streets in 2017. That new paving equipment and the purchase of asphalt from Sheboygan County Highway Department, we can extend the dollars that we have available for street resurfacing. In 2018, we've, we've scheduled another aggressive program calling 6.5 miles of streets to be resurfaced. Our police department continues to bring a strong focus on community policing. This strategy has produced a significant decrease in part one crimes again in 2017. The department also added that second beat uh, cop to strengthen our north side neighborhoods. Last year, we completed a, conver a conversion to county dispatch for all 911 emergency calls, and this will eliminate the transfer of cell 911 calls from one dispatch center to the other, and the all uh, dispatch operations are now consolidated in the Sheboygan County Law Enforcement Center. The Harbor Center Master Plan was a collaborative effort with Sheboygan Squared businesses and the city. The Encore Apartments are almost filled with downtown residents, and the area will be known as, that's known as the City Green will soon host the Levitt Amp concerts this summer, and other new programming is being put in place. Over, the over-century-old City Hall will be restored and remodeled beginning in mid-May. The departments that see frequent use by the public, like building inspection, planning, city clerk, and finance, will all move across the street to the former Social Security offices the last week of April. All other city offices will move in early May to the Sheboygan County Highway Department offices located next to the police department. This is anticipated that the City Hall project will be completed in October of 2020. 19, 2019, excuse me. Um, the new, a new skate park at Kiwanis Park is now finished and is being used by the youth of Sheboygan. This project re replaced a skate park that was removed over three years ago. A new Taylor Drive bike trail was finished last year and another bike trail will be added soon along the Alliant Energy Transmission Corridor. These Sheboygan County non-motorized projects give us bike trail improvements to benefit the residents on the south and the west side of Sheboygan. I also uh, uh, think we should uh, would look for the city to set up a bike share program this year, and we hope that these non-motorized improvements will allow Sheboygan to be recognized as a bike-friendly community. I would like to thank all of our city employees for their hard work each and every day. I'm so appreciative of all the work that they do and for their service to this city. Without all of them, we could not be the great city we are today. Last year, we launched a city monthly newsletter, the Sheboygan Insider. This e-newsletter allows us to highlight the accomplishments of city staff and increase our communication with our residents. Thank you, too, to all the volunteers who serve on city committees or participate in our community in many different ways. It's their contributions that make our city great. It's my honor and privilege to serve the people of Sheboygan as your mayor. I'm proud of what we've been able to accomplish in the past and look forward to a, a very successful council term. May God bless each of you and may God bless the city of Sheboygan. Thank you. Next item is resolutions. Item 2.1 is resolution number one of 1819 by Alderperson Wolf requesting that the mayor reactivate various special committees for the 2018-2019 council year. Yeah. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? 
Motion passes. The last item uh, for today is to pass out the appointments. Uh, these will be voted on our meeting next Monday. I just want to thank, thank you to all the, all the uh, older persons for filling out the surveys. Uh, those were a big help in putting these together, and I'm proud to say that everyone was able to get their first uh, choice for a committee appointment. So with that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much.